The epistle reading for the second Sunday in the season of Lent in year B is from Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. It's two paragraphs, and really the two paragraphs almost seem to have different themes to them. They certainly connect, but in the first, we have that section about how suffering produces endurance, endurance produces character, character produces hope. And which of us wants hope, right? We all want to have hope, and the scriptures teach them that we suffer. Suffering produces, in the long run, hope. Thanks be to God for these things that he gives, and it is the hope of salvation, right? Not just any hope, not an earthly hope, but how are we saved? And that ends up being what the second paragraph of the text gets into, which has three, three really profoundly beautiful lines. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. While we were weak, Christ died for us. What, what did we have to offer the king of the universe? Nothing. In fact, at that time, we were just sinners. We were his enemies. We were dead. We brought nothing to the table, and yet out of his great love for us, he died for us. God died for us because he loves us so greatly, and he has thus reconciled us, that is, restored. He's made the relationship whole again. That was verse 1. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace with God. Our war, our rebellion, our sin done away with. We're at peace again with the Father who created us, with Jesus who created us, with the Holy Spirit who created us. All God right? One God, three persons. Thanks be to God. And so we have been justified by faith. It's a gift that you have been made right with God again through Christ himself. You're reconciled, and you have life in his name, a life that never ends, a life that cannot be taken away from you, because it's a gift. It's a gift he's already given. Thanks be to Jesus. Amen.